Hi folks, Harry Frank from Red Giant here. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you numbers from Red Giant Universe 3.1. To apply numbers to a solid, I can go to the Universe dashboard, go to the text section, and simply double click or click on Apply Effect where I see numbers. Or I could simply go to Effect RG Universe Text and apply numbers right there. You can always bring up the Universe dashboard simply by going to Window, Extensions, and pulling up the RG Universe dashboard. Just like any other plugin in Universe, if I single click on the icon, we can pull up a number of presets. And in this case for numbers, it is just pre-formatted values that we can apply to our settings. So such as a percent or perhaps a timecode value. So you can browse these and apply them as needed. This numbers effect renders numerical values, dates, and time, allows you to animate them and format them in a number of different ways. The first thing I want to do is adjust the text style because we can certainly approve on the default values of white and Arial. So I'll click on the text style button and change the font right here. I can load anything that's been installed on my computer. I can type and search for the font like that. Now, back in that text style window, you might notice that there's also color and font size. I can change these here or in the effect controls. So if I change these values here, click OK, we'll see that in the text settings right here, we've changed the font size and color. Now, if I make adjustments here and go back to the text style, you'll see that the settings update here. So it sends the settings back and forth between the text style window and the effect controls. So let's say I wanted to animate a specific value. Let's say I wanted to go from 500 and then animate that from 500 to a value of, let's say, 2000. So I'll set a keyframe right there for my value. And I can go down here to my layers and show my keyframes by tapping the U key. And I'll go a few seconds down and set the value here to 2000. Now, as I play back, it's going to animate these values from 500 to 2000. Now, if specific values don't really matter, I can go to the rate value here and simply change this, and this will freely run at the rate that I specify. We are limited to two decimal places by default, but we can always turn these up by increasing the number of decimals there. And we can also establish a minimum integer length. And what this means is that right now I've got the integer values right here, which are 2014. If I'd like to have some leading zeros on there, I would set this to a value of six. So I'm forcing the minimum number of integers to be six. So it's going to add two more zeros on the outside of that. I'll set that back to zero and set this checkbox here to use commas. So let's say we animated this from 2000 all the way to perhaps 20,000. As it animates, we will see the values go from 2000 and format the commas in there. If you'd like a unit of measure such as dollars or euros or yen, degrees, etc., these are in there. So I could set this to be dollars. And there's a little checkbox here if you want to insert a space between the formatting. I'm going to bring the number of decimals down. In fact, I can just set this to zero and that will get rid of the decimal spaces. If I switch this over to dates, this will do a number of different date formats. If I click on this date format, we can see that we've got date, month, year, or month, date, year. And then in the case where we see three M's and a date and year, that is a three letter formatted date. This case where we have four M's specifies that we're actually using a long formatted month or the year, month, date, etc. Pretty easy to figure out. To set the specific date, there isn't really a date format controller that we can add in for an effect like this. So if I want a very specific date like my birthday, which is 9-15-73, I could set the year to 1973 and roll this forward. I know that my birthday is probably close to somewhere around 200 days into the year. And if I push this forward just a little bit, there we go. So we can't type in a very specific value, 
but it's pretty easy to dial in an exact date if you need it to be so. Lastly, we have time. If I switch this over to time, we have a couple different options here to render either 12 hour time, which repeats every 12 hours, or a 24 hour clock, which expresses time on a true 24 hour cycle. We can also set this to time code, and when I switch this to time code, you might not see a huge difference. The real difference is that time code isn't restricted to 24 hours. This can freely run well over 24 hours up to 999 hours. So if I offset this value way forward in time, and we can get to, let's say, this 86 hour mark, I can also click on show milliseconds, which in the case of time code technically would be frames. And this milliseconds rate right here, if we're doing actual time, would be a base of 99. But if we're doing time code, I can set this to something like 29.97 and have this run freely like time code. Numbers solves the problem that is often needed in host apps to simply render numbers with proper formatting, such as decimals and commas, and adding things like units of measure. It can be surprisingly complicated to pull this off, so that's exactly what Numbers is here to do for you. My name is Harry Frank for Red Giant. We'll see you in the next tutorial.